Alrighty, we're back with another um, game from my list. So the game list is in the description if you want to check it out. This is me playing games that I put on my list of games that I think everybody should play. And um, currently it's still NES games. Uh, so last time was Clue Clue Land and this time we're playing Duck Hunt. And Clue Clue Land could be played at least until it looped and you could call that beating it. Duck Hunt, I don't think it just kind of goes until you lose or you get tired of it. So we're just going to play it. Um, I've got my NES Zapper so I can play it. And if you can't play it with an NES Zapper, if you're playing on an emulator or something, you may have to play with your mouse, which isn't going to be as fun. But you can do it. Um, if you want to play it with a Zapper, you got to get a CRT TV. Otherwise, it won't work. You can't play on an HD TV with a Zapper um, just because of the way it works. So, we're just going to jump right into it, I guess. I'm going to just play each mode until I die, probably. So this stream's going to be probably pretty short. Um, and again, it's not necessarily a stream. It could be a video uh, if you're watching it that way, which you probably are. But anyway, so let's just jump into it. We'll talk about what makes Duck Hunt iconic, I guess. Um, well, number one is that dog right there. <laughs> You've probably seen that dog before. And, I'm sorry, the gunshots are going to be loud because this on Zapper is super loud to spring. But, everybody knows this dog, and you're going to find out why as soon as I miss a duck. Um, he's made his mark in history as being one of the most sarcastic and annoying figures in, in gaming. And If you've played the new Smash Bros, then you've seen him there, and I'm pretty sure he's still pretty much the same way in that game. He's annoying and a pain in the butt. Um, but anyway, this game was one of the first games that came out on the Nintendo. I believe it was developed by Nintendo R&D 1. Same as Clue Clue Land. Let me check that while I'm playing without dying, hopefully. Yep, R&D 1. And as you can see, it's exactly what it says on the cover. You shoot ducks, ducks fly out, the dog scares the duck out, you shoot the duck, and, and that's it. That's the whole game. It's kind of like an arcade game. Like I said, I don't think you can really like beat it. But you can definitely play it until you get tired of it. You get three shots on each duck. And later on you'll see when you move to um, the secondary mode, there'll be two ducks on screen at each each like little round here. You get um, I already said that three shots with each duck. And uh, you just go until I think until you have a round where you shoot less ducks than you miss, and if you if it happens like that, then you uh, you lose completely. But so this is pretty easy as it is right now, and I think that's because with each round the ducks get a little bit faster as they go. As far as it being on the list, so one is because again it's super iconic. It's one of the first NES games, like right out the gate. It's still pretty fun. I mean, even right now I'm having fun. Just shooting a zapper at a TV is fun, to be honest with you. Even as an adult. Um, or maybe I'm just a giant child on the inside. But I'm digging it even now. And uh, I don't sound like I'm digging it, but I am. <laughs> but, um, I, the two-duck mode is a little more fun than this. But... Uh, you know, it's responsive, it works well. I don't feel frustrated by the controls. It's fairly obvious what you're supposed to do. I picked up the controller and started playing it right away. I mean, given I played this as a kid, but even if this was my very first time playing Duck Hunt, I don't think I'd be having any trouble figuring out what I'm supposed to do. I got a gun in my hand, there's a duck on the screen, he flies out, I shoot the duck. It's called Duck Hunt, Mutton Ducks. And you get that cool little ditty the end of every round. The game's got a lot of style to it. At least I like that little bit of music. And really, you know what? I guess I just, I shouldn't ana like overanalyze it. The game's just fun. It's nice and simple and does what it's supposed to. Oh, I guess the other thing I like to talk about or, you know, want to talk about is my arm is getting tired. <laughs> it's, um, I can't help it. I'm going to have to hold it. Um, what does this bring to a modern gamer? So, 
even in the modern day, we really don't have um, arcade shooters on the in the home like we did. Well, back then, even like on the PS1, and the PS2, and stuff like that, you have. And the Wii kind of dabbled in it, but with the way that the Wii did it, this technology didn't work super great for this kind of thing, in my opinion. It's okay, but it's like so-so, but it's just not the same. On the Wii, you had a reticle on the screen, which to me just like takes away the illusion of shooting because you're aiming the reticle. You're not really aiming the pistol. In this, there is no reticle. I'm pointing at the ducks and shooting. They die. It's just like an arcade shooter. So, it has that appeal. Um, there's the sort of gaming culture appeal of just seeing where this Dagon dog and this duck comes from that's in Smash Bros. Um, and really, it's just still fun. Again, I'm, I'm having fun. Uh, I would say that, unlike a lot of modern games, there's, there's not so much here that it's overwhelming it's it's exactly what it's what it says it is it's hunting ducks you shoot the duck it dies i know i said that like 10 times but i'm just trying to emphasize this is a very simple straightforward game it's um not confusing it's not like hard to play um and it's just satisfying all around when you shoot them it makes that cool little sound you know and gives you feedback you see the flash on the screen and obviously the zapper itself has a nice clangy trigger I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna die at this I'm sure that they will get ridiculously fast at some point point. and like a lot of old games there's a scoring factor so if you wanna play it with your friends um, I know not playing online is a I sound like an old man, but <laughs> I won't be sarcastic. I'm sorry. That's annoying. Um, playing online is awesome, but if you have somebody at your house or, you know, you want to just check this out with one of your friends or whatever, um, this is a fun game to pass the controller back and forth and compare each other's score, or you can play asynchronously online. Um, both of you have the game. If you actually make friends with somebody who has a CRT and an NES zapper, then you can compare your scores online, have like a friendly leaderboard kind of a thing. You know, one thing I'm realizing that I don't actually understand is there's points involved. Um, so it looks like the farther they fly before you shoot them, the more points you get. Because when you shoot them right when they pop out, you only get like 800 points. 1600 right there. If you shoot them right when they come out over the grass, Oh, well, still 1600. But anyway, it seems like if you let them fly around a little bit longer, you get 2400. But I suppose the reason for that is that you're increasing the likelihood that they'll fly off the top of the screen and escape if you let them fly around and don't shoot them. My arm is seriously tired. There's an 800. Let's see, I don't really know why. That will be something to look up and figure out, I suppose. Why? How does the scoring work in Duck Hunt? I believe it might be... Maybe it's how closely you aim the gun to what's on the screen. Is it how close into the target I'm aiming, maybe? I can't really tell. I'd have to be, like, inhuman machine-like to be able to figure that out. I guess the other thing too is if you like the motion controls on the Wii, um, this is like still, you know, pretty well functioning motion control kind of a thing. It's not really motion control, but I mean it's not like just playing with a controller, you're playing with the gun, which is cool. It's like a neat peripheral with a fancy button on it. If you like that kind of thing, like the Switch has motion controls or you like the connect or whatever, you know, like non-conventional play styles. The NES Zapper is still a pretty fun thing to play with. And I had some other Zapper games on the list before, but I decided to remove most of them. I had Hogan's Alley and Freedom Force and 
Operation Wolf, but I removed all those actually just before deciding to do this because I realized, well, first of all, it's going to be hard to make a video out of me playing with this law of clacking, but um, this is the main one. So if you've played this one, you get the gist of what it's like to shoot a zapper in NES Zapper or play a zapper game. And uh, you can find those other ones on your own. They're all like pretty good, honestly. If you like this shooting the zapper at the screen, they're all pretty much equally as good as each other. Uh-oh, they're getting a little too fast now. I say that and then I'll probably be fine. Um, again, this is kind of like the easy mode, I guess. I'm also kind of close to the TV, but that's just the way my room is situated, so that might be making it easier. Or maybe my TV's too big. It'll definitely make your... Uh-oh. Oh, I almost didn't get him. It'll definitely make your arm tired. But anyway, yeah, I'm pretty sure that I've said everything that can be said about Duck Hunt, so I guess I'll just play it and ramble on about something different. I'm not sure what. Um, maybe I'll just talk about... So, the list itself... I talked about it, you know, pretty much at length in the Clue Clue Land videos, so if you just want to hear me old man ramble about video games, then that would be the place to go hear that, so I won't do, I won't re rehash that, um, just random complaining and crap that nobody cares about, but, uh, just in short, you know, I made the list, or I'm working on the list as a, a response to the fact that I really, I love video games a lot, but in the modern day, video games have just started to disappoint me a lot. Um, it's just a mix of things, really. So the games themselves are what I complained about in the last video. And Something else that bothers me a lot is the way that companies view people who play games now is just like basically a way to just, just like open wallets, basically. Um, which I really don't like. Uh, I mean... Video game companies have always sold stuff to us, but I appreciate that in this era when they sold things to us, what they sold us was a fully functioning product that was, you know, all put together in a whole item complete. It wasn't, there's no DLC, obviously, because it wasn't technically an option. They didn't really start doing expansion packs until, like, the PS1, and their Rockstar did some with... GTA because I just played them earlier this year um, but as a whole these old games another thing that they really have to offer is that they show how a game should look how it, what it should expect of its players or what what are what its players should expect of that I guess I should say because the other things a totally different topic for the next video maybe but Duck Hunt here, you buy it, it probably came with a zapper back in the day, and, you know, for that price, you got the game, you got the zapper, maybe you got the console and a bundle with it, I don't really know how it was packaged, but you knew that you were getting something that you could go home and play, fly away, oh, so when the screen turns to fly away mode, that's when they fly away, but I didn't give them enough time, alright, this video is going to be really, really long, so let me... Go ahead and reset, and I'll um, go to two duck mode just to demonstrate. Maybe I'll dive quicker or lose quick. I guess you can't die in duck hunt, but you can die of embarrassment. So two duck mode is the same thing. You just shoot two ducks. I might just do this for a minute and then go to clay pigeon mode, which again is clay pigeon shooting. It's right. It's right. What it says on the box. But, um, yeah, so, it makes me happy that Duck Hunt is not advertising to me, <laughs> that it's not, you know, fraught with the need for me to buy things to be able to enjoy it, or, um, you know, whatever, it's a whole debate, and I know people feel differently about it. And I agree that there's a time and a place for microtransactions or DLC or whatever. But if you sit down with old games, I feel like 
any gamer should feel good about the fact that what they're playing is a nice complete experience they're not going to get advertised to they can form their own judgments about it nothing is going to lock back their progress that it's all about can you play the game at it can you play the game well enough to progress that's what matters in an old game um, okay so that's two dog mode let's go to clay pigeon mode again if I could actually beat the game then that would decide how long these videos were but I can't beat duck hunt I know for a fact I can't do this crap this crap's hard looks like they fire too so this is kind of like hard mode of duck hunt regular two duck mode is like medium mode I suppose like normal one duck mode is kind of like easy mode There we go. That went pretty well, actually. It's got the same sweet tune after you beat each one. Anyway, so... I, th I guess I already talked about it, but why this game belongs on the list to me, and why I think it still holds up, is it's just fun. It's um, an enjoyable game. The graphics aren't the best thing you've ever seen in the world. Not even for the NES, but... The game does everything it's supposed to. Controls are responsive. I haven't been frustrated at any point during this video because I was like shooting the zapper and I felt like I was hitting it and it wasn't working or something like that, which is you know something that I've run into other games or like you're you know pressing the buttons is not doing what you think it's going to do or whatever or your character is fighting against you. That's not happening here, and I really find that that would ruin any game or does ruin most games. So that's a big, a big plus here. The game's fun, functions correctly. Um, it's got good style to it. I like the little music, the ditty, that is cool. Um, there isn't any music, which is a bit of a negative, I think. Yeah, maybe I should talk about the negatives of the game because the positives are <laughs> almost too obvious to keep pointing out, but or like too simple to really, <laughs> really discuss, but. I guess the negatives would be, I mean, if you look at it from a modern gamer perspective, sure, there's not really, you know, that many things to do. Like, there's Duck Hunt and Clay Pigeon Shoot, and that's pretty much it. But they're so well executed that it really doesn't matter that there's not that much else to do. Um, this is fun by itself, I think, and warrants the amount of time that it takes to set it up and give it a shot. Um, other negatives. Like I said, the graphics are pretty weak, even for the NES. I mean, we're just looking at a bland backdrop of a mountain and some trees. Um, other than that... Hmm, well, the scoring system's a little obtuse. If I understood the scoring system, or if the game somehow would made it more obvious how it scored, that would probably be helpful. Um... I don't know, other than that, I really, this game is just, it's so simple that it's hard to nitpick at it, really, but I definitely think, you know, if you want to explore other parts of gaming history besides the modern day, or besides certain NES games or whatever, Duck Hunt's definitely one worth trying, and I think it's, that's why it's earned a spot on the list. It has its own place in gaming culture. And it's um, just neat. And I recommend it, and I'm done playing it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not done playing it permanently, but I'm done playing it for this video because I'm running out of things to say about it. So, um, thanks for watching. That was Let's Play number two of Duck Hunt. I know I didn't beat it, but again, you can't really beat it. So, um, next time, I believe we'll be playing something that we can actually beat, and we'll see how that goes.